storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. We got to talk about Jesse Smollett, Lil Juicy, the man who about to be sitting in a cell next to R. Kelly. I think he should be cellmate. So R. Kelly, I think they would get along very well. I think R. Kelly got something that he won't. And I think I think that Jesse Body is calling Kelly. I think they would get along very well. I think if you're willing to be, I think if you can take two Nigerian footlongs and pretend that somebody poured bleach on you and said MAGA country nigga, I think that you can take a little pee pee. I think so. I think they would get along very well. <coughs> Juicy Smollett. Juicy Smollett. Now. His trial has started, and I'm talking about this today because y'all know I've been roasting him since 2019. I'm talking about this today because guess what the jury got to look at in the uh, in the trial? Guess what they got to view? They got to view a video of Jussie and his Nigerian footlongs doing a practice run of the alleged beat up Beatation incident. Remember, Jesse said he was out going to subway in negative 20 degree weather. Now, I ain't from Chicago, but I've been in Chicago. <coughs> it gets cold as hell. And ain't nobody walking around for no subway. Subway is not that good. We you, you're not sucking deep for John Legend tickets. You're not getting frostbitten for subway. Not believing that, and not when you're making 45 to 60 thousand dollars per episode. No, ma'am, no, sir. According to the Nigerian foot loans. They said that Jussie asked them to fake beat him up. They went over the whole thing and went over how it would go. But what pisses me off about you, Juicy, because your pockets ain't juicy no more. That career is very dry. And you know, and don't nothing good come to you when it's dry. You know, whenever you dry, Jussie, and not wet and lubricated, you tear and bleed down your left leg. You know it. Jesse, the jig is up. It's time to come clean. I feel like you a child, and, and you and you can actually, you can actually avoid the the whooping if you just admit it was you that did it, and that you started this whole life for no reason because you are an attention queen, an attention queen. <clears throat> you didn't ruin the family name, even though we didn't know too much too much about any other ones. We only liked the journey. We didn't really like you that much. We thought your character on Empire. Uh, was uh how do I say it very dramatic and overdone much like this skit sash stint that you pulled come on now let's keep it real Empire was maybe good one or two seasons after that absolutely garbage power was way better and I didn't even watch power to tell y'all that power was better than Empire that's just the truth Lee Daniels is very damn dramatic in everything that he do <coughs> everything gotta be traumatic from the dramatic Queen, and guess what, Lee Daniels? You still ain't paid Damon Dash his two damn million dollars, nigga. Now, he about to go to prison all because he wanted to be a queen and wanted some attention. He said he was going out searching for foot a $5 foot long. No, he takes foot long. See, Jesse, you'd be you'd have been better off paying them brothers thirty five hundred dollars for them to well that it's only two two ain't a train but they could have eye photographed you and gave you two foot longs and you would have you would have got a good nut a good nut a good night's sleep and still would have had your good job the next day but now you ain't gonna be busting no more good nuts except on yourself in 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 betwixt a magazine or by your cellmate named Bubba you ain't got the good job no more because ain't nobody finna hire you after this. And I just don't think you're tough enough to make it in prison. I just don't. So it is what it is. But I believe you deserve to go to prison alone by asking them brothers to commit a crime. And you only paid them $3,500. Excuse me, sir. You get paid $45,000 an episode. And all you could come off of was $3,500. You know, you had that in your drawers. That's your tricking money when you go to the gay strip clubs. Why you didn't reach down and give them a bag if you really wanted them to do something for you? You know why them, them Nigerian footlongs did it? They did it because they felt indebted to you. Because they thought it could help their after career. And I'm sorry, ladies. A lot of your favorite leading men that took a lot of five dollar foot longs and three dollars six inches because they thought it was gonna help their career they thought it was gonna help their music career and when it don't help and they don't go nowhere they end up washed up 
drugged out, alcoholed out because they gave up their manhood for a check that was ne- that never did came because the devil always comes to collect. Because sometimes he collect a little bit quicker than what you be ready for. Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.